plastics in the water, plastics um, in the bed deck area, and they're also looking at plastics in their hair. And here are some of the solutions that they're, um, they're just investigating. Um, and they'll be doing this for about um, two more months. And then in addition to that, we have um, uh, challenges for young kids. It's currently all across the United States, but as, as I said, we're going to try and move much more uh, internationally uh, into the future. And so with that, um, I just closed, but I just wanted to uh, share one observation I had while I was here. I was um, with Sandus yesterday, and um, we were driving along, and there was a, a large cast iron fence. And we went along, and it just kept going and going and going, and then there was a big hole in the cast iron fence. And, uh, and there was a massive branch that kind of went through that fence and out, and it just kind of struck me that it was a bit odd. And, uh, and I realized that somebody had taken the time when they built that fence to make the space for that tree to basically be a tree. Uh, and to naturally grow and follow its own path. And I felt that that was a real uh, symbol of Indian culture and that uh, there's a real um, appreciation and, and strong value for the natural world and a uh, desire to let it be and make space for other forms of life. And I, I hope that uh, if there's one thing that we can take and, and share with the rest of the world, it's that, it's that greater value of nature uh, and I think that takes us all the way back to the award that was received today that helps us all understand and appreciate uh, what nature shares with us. So thank you very much. It's a great honor. Uh, should I speak in Hindi or English or common English? English? Okay. My name is Nitin Pandit and uh, I work for the Ashoka Trust for Research in Ecology and Environment, which is based out of Bangalore. And we work across Pan-India uh, in several locations, and we have community conservation centers in several of our ecosystems and forests. Uh, now, ATRI has been uh, around since the mid-90s or so, so we've finished about 22 plus years. And in addition to that, uh, you know, we started an academy uh, to give PhDs to the students who work with us, and that's been going on for about 10 years. Uh, this year, therefore, we took this opportunity of our annual function, which is the TN Khushu function, award and function, that happens around this time every year. And we decided that we will celebrate the Academy for 10 years, calling it Academy at 10. Uh, we recognized all the PhD students who have passed through the institution and also recognize some of the research that will come up in the near future that the students will do. Uh, as such, the, we continue to work at the intersection of environment and development. Uh, we recognize that the problems of the environment are also being caused uh, by some of the elements of development that need to be better addressed by us as a society. As examples, how we treat our forests, how we treat our forest resources, how we treat the food that we get from the forests and the nearby areas, including the buffer zones and so on. These affect everything that we do in life, uh, from food to farm or farm to food, as they say, and it affects our health, it affects our nutrition and the life we lead. What we are trying to do is to find a balance so that India can develop, but at the same time develop in a sensible way so that we don't lose our assets, which are our ecosystems and the environment that is a given gift to us, uh, which we must keep for our future generations. So. How is the feel about the today function and uh, awards? Or, uh, sure, so we, we, uh, we did a little something different this time. Uh, we uh, looked at the area of science communications. And science communications meant uh, it acknowledges the fact that as, as scientists and researchers, we need to communicate better with the public outside. And what that does is it allows us to take the impact of science to help society on one side. And secondly, 
by discussing and by communicating with society at large, we are able to focus our research onto those topical areas that are important to society. This function where we had the Executive Vice President of National Geographic as our main speaker uh, depicts how important it is that we start communicating with the world outside as scientists and researchers. Of course, the 130 years of uh, history of National Geographic, which we all love, uh, shows how wonderful and how effective science communications can be. So we thought we would bring the best in the world to help address uh, what are the issues and what are the possibilities of addressing uh, science communications or using science communications to address societal problems. At the same time, we also gave an award. We give an award every year to someone who's a budding scientist or a researcher and so on. This year, again, we did something different. Because the theme was science communications, we said, let's think about something broader. So we brought in an artist, an artist who essentially paints ecosystems, paints forests, paints the, the life in the forests, and her vibrant depiction of how the forest exists out there shows us different ways in which we can communicate with the public. Paintings is one, music is another, other forms of art that we must utilize as scientists. So this is in recognition of the fact that science needs to come out of its shell. We cannot stay in a silo anymore. We must interact more with society. And I think to some extent, we've made a beginning in this, uh, in this award ceremony today. Yeah. So my name is Jonathan Bailey, I'm Chief Scientist at National Geographic Society and I'm here at the event, uh, it's an ATRI event where we're celebrating um, an award for communication and nature communication uh, as well as um, recognizing all the amazing work of the uh, individuals that are working at ATRI and the interface between science and policy uh, and the interdisciplinary approach they have to solve both conservation and development challenges. So every year an award is given and this year it's on science communication uh, and it's beautiful imagery of wildlife um, including plants and animals um, and really helps you to think differently about the natural world and engage with it and that's a critical first step because if we you know, begin to appreciate nature we'll value it more and if we value it more we'll make decisions uh, to help conserve it into the future. So how is the feel about the evening? Oh, it's a great it's a great event, and it's wonderful celebrating um, all these individuals that have worked so hard to try and both secure the planet and to find solutions for local communities. Uh, I am extremely grateful uh, to Atri, uh, to Dr. Kamal Baba, to the entire Atri team, to the and the Dr. Ko for the T N Koshu Award uh, for recognizing me, and I feel extremely honored. Uh, that I have been recognized for my contributions in um, conservation art and uh, I hope I can create more art which can involve more people in, in real environmental and conservation issues and um, that you know more and more young people also take up conservation and take up uh, painting as a career and, start, and really put art and wildlife art um, at the forefront of Indian uh, conservation simply because we have something to be proud of. Uh, we have wonderful ecosystems here. We have like the Himalayas, we have the Western Ghats, we have deserts, we have such beautiful ecosystems and uh, they're slowly getting trashed. So it would be very good if more and more younger, the younger generation, I can inspire them and they can come forward and start creating any form of art which will actually help conserve nature. Yes. My award has been a natural recognition of contributions in science and communication. So art is a very powerful tool for uh, uh, communication. Um, you know, when people produce research papers and science papers, uh, people have to sit and read them. Uh, in art, you can create a canvas and you can create a major impression and you can actually, visually you can story tell about a particular place. You know, Kadir Baudu, Yenadri, Deno. You can create a visual impression impression and there is a story there. You can paint monkeys in it, you can put frogs in it, uh, you know, you can put birds, you can put trees and you can, all of that adds up to a wonderful story of a particular ecosystem.
नमस्कार आयुक्त टी वी एल वीक्षक नम चल हेच्ची वीडियो लाइक सब्सक्रईबी बेल बटन प्रेसमी